Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a course on Quigga platform. To start with, you click at the top menu Courses and select in Products Courses. Same way you can create boot camps and private groups. The number in brackets indicates how many such products, for example courses, you already have in your account. If you have zero, let's fix it right away by clicking on the plus button and uh, typing the name of the course. Let it be Social Media Marketing Course. We wait a little bit while it loads and on this page you can create model or lesson. Let's click on uh, create a model button and fix its name right away. For example, intro. To add lesson inside the model, click on the plus button near its name and select add lesson. You can create several lessons right away and if you want a model inside a model or additional section you can create plus model if you want another model created outside click at the down button and let's fix the name right away additionally we can create several lessons more if you let's fix their titles I will mention that you can edit these names later at any point of your work. But to start with something to just work, let's edit them. If you can move lessons, for example, inside the model and change their order if you wish. You can bring model outside, uh, sorry, you can bring lesson outside of the model. And uh, you can, of course, delete by selecting a basket icon and it will be deleted and you can of course return it back to the model a lesson can stay outside of model you can create as many models inside another model as you wish and we can right away check the settings and how it all appears on the web page so here at the top you see course preview buttons that allows you to preview the page of the course let's click it and see it on a separate window how it all looks So far, we don't have much information. We have just the name, the name of the author, and just some data about the course, like number of model lessons and the language. And we can see the course outline. What we can add is a preview, a picture, an image. We can add description about the course, and we can play a little bit with how the course outline appears. Let's go back to the settings. Going back to the course menu and selecting settings here, we can open. First, we will check main settings of the course. The status of the course now is published. It means that it's available by this link that you see right here below, and everyone can access it and see the course. It doesn't it means that they can see inside materials of the course, but they can see the description of the course, that this course exists, and if you set up for later on how to buy it, they can buy it or access it for free as it's defined here. If you change its status to draft, it means no one except you, only you or team members of uh, your team members can access it by this link. So if you're working on a course and you want to ensure that no one else previews it and sees it before it's all done, change its status to draft. And once you are done, change it back to published. This link is a link to the course. This is a a link that you can give to your customers, to your clients, to your students, and they can join the course using this link. If you can edit this link, but make sure that you edit it before you share the course uh, with your clients, because after you change the link, for example, we can put new SMM, as old link will no longer be working. Further settings we will not cover, but you can always sneak peek on what do they mean. And let's go back to customize the public page of the course. This is this page that we just now previewed. And we can start by adding a course preview. Let's select it from computer. You will have a cropper that you can edit or modify how it all appears, just to make it equal if you need. Uh, if you want uh, an image prepared for you by designer and make sure that nothing gets cut or everything falls as you want, you can always click on question mark and you see the suggested sizing for images or just use aspect radio for the picture.
our public page would not be complete without description of the course. So let's add it using this blog text image and script that you can see right under preview. And I'll copy the text that I already prepared. Uh, this is a text editor, so you can change the font size, color, style, play it around to make sure certain information stands out. Let's just a little bit increase and change the color. Alternatively, you can add an image here as well. And you can add, uh, of course, buttons, links, and further options that are available in the editor. Let's add a button that can give our viewers information about the author. You can change button color, you can change text color if you wish, and add a link on the button. And it appears here. Let's also center this image. And you can play around if you want how it appears on different devices if you want. Or you can hide also this image if you don't want it appears on, uh, for example, mobile phones. And you do not need to hit any save button. All changes are automatically saved. And we can preview this page once again. So here it appears. This is a preview. We've added some certain description, big image, and the link and the course program. What you can play around in settings, let's go back, is the size of the preview. You can make it small. You can appear how the course program appears. I would suggest you can just play around and see what fits your needs in this in, for a particular course. Let's check with the small preview. And uh, what we also suggest is that you can add images for the uh, models. So let's go back to our outline of the course, which you can find under the button lesson. And once you create and select a model, you can see that here you can add model preview. So let's add some image. Let's add same image for another model. Now let's preview how the end result looks by hitting the preview button. And as you see, it became even more appealing to users with additional images. You select and of course you find the matching for your course theme. Always make sure that your course is published when you say share the link. And here you go, you can start selling it right away and in next lessons. I will show you how to add content to the course.